everyone, it's Doug from Vermont Hoyas, and welcome to a visit with myself and Hoya Flavida. Uh, for those of you that read my daily blog, uh, Ramblings in Vermont Hoyas, you know that um, a couple months ago I put up a section called My Hoya Hall of Shame, and I listed like seven or eight Hoyas that I've never been able to flower. And I am um, ecstatic to say that one of them I finally can take off that list, and that's Hoya Flavida. I've had this plant now for uh, probably around five years, and I've worked really hard and tried everything to flower this Hoya. And I don't know why I was finally successful. I don't know if it has anything to do with it. it just has to get to be a certain age before it flowers, but um, there was a lot of stops and starts with this one over the years. But I'm just really on top of the moon to say that I finally did it. I can cross this one off my list. Now let's take a look a little closer at the plant. You can see that it gets these lovely red leaves in good light. It doesn't even have to be that good of a light, but there's a lot of red leaves on this plant. Um, let's take a look at the flowers. It has a very light, fruity scent That's all I can say it's it's definitely very faint but you can smell it just the same they're quite beautiful they're pubescent um, I'm just I'm thrilled there's so many flowers on one pentacle and I have another one over here these are what the buds look like so who knows after all this time maybe it's going to flower I have this in a new grow tent, a four by four by six foot grow tent, and it's in the basement. The temperature um, is, it gets down to about 64 at night, and gets up to only about 73 during the day. I don't have this directly under the light, I have it way off to the side, because if this is put directly under the light, the leaves turn, um, all of them would turn dark maroon, and I didn't think that would be conducive to getting this plant to flower, but anyway, I think this plant comes from the Solomon Islands, but don't hold me to it. Got this as a small cutting from Rick Moyer like five years ago, possibly six years ago, but I wish I kept a little better track, but it's been at least five years that I've been fooling around with this plant. Well, that's all I've got to say about Hoya Flavida. Just really happy that I can tick this one off my list. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back really soon with more great Hoyas and Hoya Growing Tips.